The best way to fight cancer is to prevent it in the first place. The Canadian Cancer Society is leading the way to that goal. It helps people make healthy choices and encourages healthy public policies. One of the ways it supports prevention research is by funding a special centre in Waterloo. 50% of cancers are preventable and if 166,000 Canadians a year are getting cancer, that means roughly we can prevent 80,000 cases of cancer per year. That's a huge impact and our centre was set up to do something about that. One of the centre's prevention mandates is to find new ways to cut the use of tobacco. For example, we've still got about 5 million smokers in the country. One in six will get lung cancer in the long term. One in two will die prematurely of some smoking-related illness. And if we're going to reduce the number of smokers in the population as quickly as possible, we have to implement policies and programs that will drive those numbers down as fast as possible. All of the Centre's activities are helping to forge a new definition of outreach. Communities are becoming research partners. We talk about how we might address a problem in a community, in a province, in the country, and then study as we go what's actually working and learning together. The Centre is also building a reputation for mentoring new researchers like Scott Leatherdale, whose focus is keeping young people away from cancer dangers. If we can get youth to, to not be smoking, more physically active and healthy eating, the potential long-term impact on the cancer system would be huge, just from simple, modifiable behavior change in the population. Sarah Vebeck is another researcher who's found her direction here. Sarah's research is helping to connect cancer research to policy and programs in communities, especially where it can help people escape the trap of tobacco. If we want to make more strides in terms of tobacco control efforts and cancer control efforts uh, in a related vein because of the strong connection, we need to really understand how to help those uh, smokers that remain. Canada used to have a much higher smoking rate than it does today. Although about 5 million Canadians still smoke, Canada is a leader in reducing tobacco use. Researchers like David Hammond are working internationally and sharing the research done in Canada so that we can learn from each other about what works best. So one of the things that I work on is the health warnings on cigarette packages, so the pictures. And that's one of the things that Canada is known for throughout the world. We were the first country to do that. And it's now being uh, implemented in about 20 different countries. It's another of the many ways donations to the Canadian Cancer Society helps to ensure that fewer Canadians and others around the world will have to deal with cancer.